All right, good afternoon traders. Today is June 24th, 2024. This is the BYOB market wrap up. All right, let's take a look at some charts today. Here's our first chart, SBY. All right, let's look at it on the 10 minute chart. Uh, 10 minute chart, we have a downtrend. So we left off today with a downtrend. Two hour chart. We have a downtrend, all right? And on the daily chart, price puts in a higher high and a lower low. <coughs> Excuse me, so that's an outside day, closing below the trap, but above the 17 EMA. Still in an uptrend. QQQ. Uh, QQQ, lower high, lower low, closing under the trap, over the 17 EMA. All right, still in an uptrend. FNGU, lower high, lower low, closing under the trap, over the 17 EMA, still in an uptrend. Diamond Dow, Diamond Dow, higher low, higher high, closing over the trap, over the 17, still in an uptrend. IWM. IWM is still in a downtrend, low, higher low, higher high, closing uh, between the trap and the 17 EMA. Let's look at our technicals, T2122, uh, we ripped out of the sell zone straight to the buy zone, started making some lower highs and then some lower lows. We found ourselves inside the seller's, the buyer's chop zone right through here to end the day let's take a look at t2123 uh we started out bullish had a little vwap pullback you can see right there then got a bounce couldn't make the higher high all right that's when the selling starts when you couldn't make the higher high now notice we did beat this high over here but this high did not close out or wind up coming up over this high uh, and then we got some more selling good news is we didn't make a lower low still caught underneath the falling 15 EMA excuse me the falling 200 SMA still stuck in quadrant one all right made a lower high here so they are testing these lows T2123 three bar we are caught still. We melted through this rising 200. Again, still in quadrant one underneath the midpoint and uh, definitely still in a downtrend. Take a look at FNGU. Today's price action uh, red from the beginning of the day to the end of the day. <clears throat> so you can see they melted right through this rising 200 SMA. All right, so um, they get one more one more daily candle, and that will be the rubber band candle. They break that, and uh, look out below. All right, so there's FNGU. Let's go back to this chart right here. Let's take a look at silver and gold. Silver and gold both in uptrends. Today's price action. Lower high, lower low, closing underneath the bearish trap, underneath the bearish cross, underneath the 17 EMA. All right, so it's got that flaky uptrend. The reason it's flaky, because they beat this high right here and not this one. It is a higher high, uh, but it's a flaky one because of the candles right there. Gold, same thing. Gold beat this candle right here, so that makes it a flaky high bearish engulfing on Friday. Today's price action inside day, higher low, lower high, closing, well, it looks like above the bullish trap, but underneath the 17 EMA, silver and gold. UNG, still in an uptrend. Okay, today's price action. Uh, See what we got there. It looks like a higher low, higher high, closing over the bullish trap. Over the 17 EMA, UNG still in an uptrend. USO. USO still in an uptrend. 
Today's price action looks like a, let's just look, 78.49, 78.40, higher, low, higher, Seventy-nine, 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 eighty. Higher, low, higher, high. Closing over the bullish trap over the seventeen EMA. So USO in an uptrend. UNG uh, also in an uptrend with a higher low and a higher high. All right, let's take a look at a few sectors. All right, SMH. All right, another sell-off day, just like the market. Got a lower high, lower low, closing underneath the bearish cross underneath the 17 EMA. SMH still in an uptrend, all right? Not until it takes out this low right here. Okay, XLF, XLK, technology sector. Lower high, lower low, closing under the bearish cross, but over the 17 EMA. Still in an uptrend till it takes out this low right here. XLF, XLF still, XLF in an uptrend, nice work today for XLF, very nice, so XLF starts a brand new uptrend, higher low, higher high, closing over the bullish trap over the 17 EMA, I gotta, I gotta see what IYT did. IYT, still in a downtrend, got to take out that high right there. See that wick? Got to take out the wick. All right, still in a downtrend. Today's candle, higher, low, higher, high, closing over the bullish trap over the 17 EMA. Still caught underneath this downtrend line. Still got to take out that high. So there's IYT. All right, that's it, traders. All right, thank you for being here. We'll start it all again tomorrow at... 8 o'clock, all right? Tough day today. Really tough day. Let me explain why it was a tough day. All right, because we were looking for uh, bearish engulfing or bearish red, red, red races green uh, under the pivot, 546. Uh, you can see here's like the first two candles. We had red erases green, no follow through, didn't go anywhere. And then it ripped right up into the all-time high, anchored VWAP. That's the pink line right there. Okay, notice they couldn't close any complete candles over the all-time high anchored VWAP. And from there, they started to melt down. They ran into a tail brick right through here, pulled back. I would have thought it was going to VWAP, never even made it, and then just rolled over from there. So uh, it was a tough day. Uh, it's hard to play this long because it wasn't over the pivot. You could have played it long if you wanted to, but you can see you didn't get any follow through. You only got two candles, and then that's it. It just dropped dead from there, all right? And then from here, we didn't take out uh, red erases green until this candle right here was red erases green. Right there. Okay, and that was probably, what time was that? One o'clock, right there. You can see it didn't even go far at all. If you took this candle, you went from 544.59 down to all these tails. 543 so you got a dollar move all right and then a harsh pullback and then here's the rollover it was the thriller trade going into the close right there uh, I said there's probably going to be a thriller trade going into the close so it was a tough day we, we couldn't get anything really going um, if we looked at our indicators chart all right we'll take a look at our indicators chart here's the MACD okay so here's Here's the red candle that would, would have been bought, and you can see right there. <clears throat> On the indicators, we were at 0.01, so we didn't get triggered into that because of the indicators. Okay, indicators didn't get down to 0.03 
until this candle right here, and then you can see it didn't go anywhere. Okay, it finally got going on this candle right here. Uh, red erase is green. By then, it's the end of the day. Do you really want to take it? Unless you're all prepped up on a three-minute chart for the rollover thriller trade. That's about the only way you could have played that one. All right, so really tough day. Nothing really much to trade unless you were uh, very agile and just taking profits and reloading, taking profits and reloading. So tough day today. Uh, nothing really ran away from VWAP. As you can see, price action swings up, swings down, swings up a little bit, and then rolls over for the thriller trade. So that's it for the SPY today. Uh, pivot, probably going to be right there, 546.33. Uh, this was a common area right through here, but I'm just going to leave it right where the uh, all-time high anchored VWAP is because if it goes up over all-time high anchored VWAP, I want to be bullish. And underneath it, I want to be bearish, So, but I want to see it break below uh, this area right here, 543.88. All right, that's it, traders. Thank you for being here. I hope you all have a wonderful day evening i'll see y'all tomorrow at eight o'clock and have a good night thanks t thanks marley